hundreds of years from now, we're gonna look back and be shocked about this horrible world that we all used to live in, where people used to get old and die. We're interested not in slowing aging down, but in actually reversing it, turning back the biological clock. This is not science fiction. Even if I bring forward the defeat of aging by just one day, you know, that's 100,000 lives that I say. It's just astronomical. Harvard has actually been able to reverse aging in mice using telomere lengthening technology. Once we are really truly repairing things as fast as they go wrong, game over. We will have the ability to live indefinitely. Curing aging is a race. The clock ticks once, Flores pushes it back. It ticks again, Flores pushes it back. If Bill gets to his goal, then our marriage is forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Think about that one. <laughs> I can view myself as a poster boy, so to speak. There's going to be much less difference between people of different chronological ages. This is snake oil and dangerous snake oil. Dr. Andrews is simply a more recent iteration of similar personalities in the past. I'm not surprised that people don't believe us. What I really worry about is the possibility of a sudden breakthrough. The bigger question about humanity as a whole. If my mother had been healthy enough to benefit from these future therapies, then she would very much have wanted to. She had definitely not run out of things that she wanted to do in her life by any means. We are going to find something soon enough to allow my 84-year-old father to see his own aging reversed. Life is so funny. You can learn and learn and learn. And just about the time you learned what you wanted to learn, you die. It sometimes escapes the general public that scientists are actually human beings who enjoy having a good time as well. I really don't know what does happen when a person dies. I want a doctor. There's no glory in dying.